In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Elemental Photoshop action. So, first thing we want to do is jump into our Photoshop and open up a photo to work with. So, I'll use this one here. Now, there's a couple of things you need to check uh, before you run the action. So, if you open up your photo and it doesn't look like this, your layout doesn't say background and has a lock in it. So, if you open up your photo and it's like called layer one or just whatever, you need to convert it to the background layer. So, to do that, uh, just select the layer and go to layer, new, background from layer and we'll convert it to that. So you also want to make sure that you're in RGB color mode. So image mode RGB, it won't work in any other color mode. Next, let's light up our actions panel. So go to the window menu, select actions. Uh, I've already got it open here so I'll just delete that and next we want to load up our actions. So the top right hand corner right one here. Select that, load actions, select the elemental action, and it will appear here. Okay, so next step is we need to create a layer uh, that we're going to brush onto. So let's just zoom in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, and it needs to be called brush, all in lowercase, B R U S H. Okay, so here we are here. Next, we want to grab a brush tool, hit B on the keyboard. Um, right click to select a brush I'm going to use a hard brush uh, you can use any color so just one that stands out and what you want to do is brush the areas that you want to apply the effect to so I'm just going to go ahead and brush over his feet here I'm going to do his hands just like that This other shoe. And I'll do his hair. Okay, with that done, go back into your uh, layer, uh, your actions panel, and go to your elemental folder. Now, this is where you need to choose what direction you want the effect to. Uh, go off into. So in this case I want to shoot up into the air. So I'll select the up action and I just need to click play on this. Now the action uh, has a lot of steps to run through so it takes about a minute to complete. So I'll just click play and I'll fast forward the video to the result. Okay the action's finished and this is the default look that it gives us. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go inside the, the layer panel and we're just going to have a look at what the action's um, created. So let me just minimize all these folders and we'll start from the top. So the top folder here is the color folder. So if I turn this one on and off you can see that that's where uh, the color is applied. So we'll go inside and there's a couple layers I've set up here. The top one here, overall color tint, if I just turn that one on, uh, that's just a photo filter adjustment layer. So you can um, drag the density to apply sort of an overall uh, an overall color fill. Um, you can use, you can scroll through the different colors here. Uh, just experiment with that. Uh, layer below, add glow spot. This is just a little um, simple layer that I've set up where you can sort of move around uh, this little yeah glow spot, and you can just easily change the color. Uh, if you want, you can make it uh, you can make it spread much wider by selecting the, um, the the layer mask and if I go to filter blur Gaussian blur I can just increase the, the radius of our glow like that you can also duplicate this layer and you know move that around okay next four layers below are some simple uh, color layers that I've set up so you can see sorry some color presets and you can easily just click on these boxes here and change the color there as well so let's stick with blue now you notice that each one of these color presets has a layer mask and you can see the shape that's formed there so basically that um, is our initial area that we brushed um, blurred upwards because that's the direction that we wanted it um, to shoot off into. So what we can do, if we want to increase uh, 
the length of this blur, you can see that it kind of stops on abruptly there. I want that to increase, um, to shoot up higher. So if I select the lay mask and go filter blur, motion blur, let me just zoom out a bit here. So you can see our lay mask here. Now if I just increase the distance, you see that and you can see in the main design how it's much more seamless now. So I can leave that at about that. Okay, uh, layer below here, black and white photo, if you want to remove all the colour from the from your photo and just keep the glow, turn that one on, just like that. Okay, so folder below is called broken pieces. These are all the little shapes that, sh that zoom off from uh, where you brushed onto your photo. So if I turn this one off, you can see the effect there. Um, if you go inside this folder, there's, it's all broken up into separate layers, so you can easily just grab you know, a bunch of these layers and move them around, move them up into the air. You can, of course, even just move the entire folder up, like that. Uh, the layer below, broken pieces dark. This is basically just a duplicate of this folder, but if I turn this one on, it um, incorporates some darker pieces, so you can move those around. Uh, but up high, you can lower the opacity that. Uh, you can even merge this folder. So I hit Control E, flatten this folder. Um, I can say apply some blur to it. Just like that. Or you can even apply some more motion blur. Just like that. But we'll leave it without it. Okay. Uh, folder blow I've called flame dispersion so if I turn this one off you can see that's the bulk of the effect um, created so let's go inside here and so let me just I'll just turn off these broken pieces layer uh, folders and let's just zoom in on his foot for this section so edge highlights if I turn this one on and off you can see what that does now this folder basically outlines the areas that we brushed so you can, if you can remember, I brushed around his hand and it stopped around here, so it's going to highlight where the brush ended. But it, what it's also going to do is um, reveal details in the photo um, of where we brushed. So you remember I brushed pretty much completely over his foot, so it's going to highlight the details of the photo within the area that we brushed, um, as well as outlining the edge. Okay, so you can go inside this folder. There's a couple that I've left turned off by default that you can um, experiment with by turning them on, um, duplicating them. Edge Highlight 3 is a good one to play around with. If I duplicate this layer uh, and move it up, and we can say apply again some motion blur. Just so like that, so it looks like it's um, zooming up into the air. Okay, folder below, flame build, you can see what's happening here. So inside this folder, there's just a bunch of um, different layers that help, um, that basically just stack on top of each other and help build up the effect. So you can, you know, you can experiment with turning off a big group of them. Um, I find you, cr you can really come up with some cool results by sort of duplicating them, scaling them, blurring them. Um, so layer 9, for example, I can duplicate that one and move that up into the air, uh, lower the opacity, uh, what else can you do, you can yeah, du keep duplicating it, and scale it, blur it, like that, and that's it, that's all it really is to it. Um, just those couple of steps that you need to remember at the start. Um, if you've brushed onto the photo, run the action, then you decide you want to run it again, just delete these folders like that and create a new layer called brush. Start brushing and hit play. And that's it. Thanks.